Hello, everybody. This is Xin Li from Uber. My colleague Chen will join me today to talk about speed up price to query with Poké Column Index. Just a little bit about myself and my colleague. I'm the Poké TMC Chair and uh, the TLM, Tech Lead Manager of Uber Big Data Format. And Chen is a Senior Software Engineer in Uber Presto team. Let's start with data growing piece. So as your business grows, the data is growing very fast. When the scale increase in data storage, like a data lake, the big data queries become slower because so much data to read. So filtering become very important. Presto has done a lot of optimization for public readers like nested column pruning, predict pushdown, dictionary pushdown, et cetera. But there's still a lot of data to read. Just a little, a little bit of background about Poké format. A Poké file consisted of a footer and one or more row groups. Each row group has all the columns that the table has. We call it column chunk. Each column chunk is further divided into pages. Page is a unit for IO reading and also for encoding, compression, and encryption. So what is a POKE statistics? POKE file statistics contains the mean max value of each column. Consider the mean max value from the range of this column data. So when you have a filter, you can utilize that range to fill out unnecessary data so that you don't need to read them and save the IO. Here is an example. You have a column across four different row groups and each has a range. So in the chart, only the second column chunk is falling into the range of the filter needed, which is X greater than 100. So you don't need to read all three other columns chunk at all. Statistic also called index. It has page level index and column chunk level index or column level index. They are cost green versus final green. So here is, a, here is an example. You have one column chunk, you have three pages. So each page has its own range with mean max. I have a filter where X equal 2000. Now the cost range index, which is a column level, we will say no because it's not falling into his range. Page index also say no because it's not in for into its range also. Now this is another example, the same data, but we change the filter, which is X equal 55. The column chunk index still say yes, because it fall into its range, but the page index say partially yes, because only one page has its range cover that, two others not. Now when you read it, you only need to read the only page that covers that range. Two other pages can be skipped. Another example where the filter equals 700. Now the column chunk index say yes, and the page index says no, because all three pages don't have a range to cover that index. In this case, you can skip all the pages reading. So it's a huge CV. So Poké column index feature, particular meaning the page level index. It is released in Poké 1.11 and the presto changes is in progress. Basically it corrects the place for storing the page index. It moves from the page header to a standalone page with offset index information. It needs synchronized reader cross columns. Now I will hand it over to my colleague Chen to talk about the benchmark. Yep, thanks, Xingli, for the introduction. 
So yeah, now let's turn to some uh, benchmark results. Um, this is an early stage POC-ish test with a relatively simple career and a small cluster. Here, what I'm showing is a simple filter query I run uh, in the form of select star from full where bar so X. Um, please note that I put the uh, filter on the sorting column because this is where the column index is going to, most likely going to uh, bring you the benefit of skipping unnecessary pages. Um, and I'm showing uh, running this query twice, back to back on the same cluster. The only difference was that uh, um, was if the column index was eyeballed or not through uh, session properties. Uh, could you go to the next page, please? Thanks. Um, so as you can see, uh, without column index, it had to scan um, 641 KROs uh, using a total of 16 seconds of wartime, while with column index, only needed to scan uh, 409 KROs with the 11 seconds wartime. So this was like a 30% wartime reduction and 36% uh, row reduction, uh, just good improvement. Um, and another way to put this is that uh, the uh, query is expected to result uh, to re return 401k rows by reading uh, 641k rows. So it's kind of reading 60% um, more rows than needed uh, by the results. But why with the column index, it only read 409k rows. Uh, this was uh, only 2% more than the, uh, what's re needed in the results. <clears throat> so this uh, gave a uh, insight of the efficiency improvement of reading uh, parquet tables using the index. Um, <clears throat> but you may notice here that the, the byte size though, is a bit interesting because it was uh, around 600 uh, megabytes, uh, all the palaces, even, even uh, regardless of uh, column index uh, or not. So we believe this is uh, like the um, calculation issue. Uh, for example, it may be just taking the raw parquet file as uh, the bytes. So uh, on the next page, we'll look into the uh, operator summaries, which we believe gave uh, more uh, accurate numbers. <clears throat> so yeah, on this page, as you can see, um, so I run this uh, uh, query on just one node, uh, by the way, uh, just because I can, this way I can collect the uh, uh, full aggregated stats on this one page. Um, so here, uh, as you can see, uh, the uh, output were the same, uh, both were 206 megabytes and uh, the output was 131k rows. Um, but the with uh, without column index, they had to read 140 megabytes and uh, 231 k rows. While well, with column index, only needed to read uh, 91 megabytes and uh, 140 k rows. So this was again about 35 percent reduction in terms of both size and uh, rows. Um, and also on this page, you can see the uh, the peak uh, memory usage was also much lower, um, which kind of makes sense. So if you read less data, then it's uh, less memory required uh, for this query. So yeah, um, this uh, simple PS benchmark uh, shows uh, some promising improvements on the parquet data read pass. Uh, we're looking to run uh, more testing and uh, potentially looking for a uh, production deployment in the next coming quarter. Yep. Thanks, Tim. Uh, one thing to point out is um, the Presto already have the rule group filters based on the statistics. So this effort for the page level index is a further reduction based on that filter. Now the takeaway is uh, read only needed data at a fine green level, uh, procreate statistics to skip reading data at a both column level and page level. Page level is fine green and more effective. So sorting makes the column index working better. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.